Want to ace your chemistry AS level exam and score top in the world? I got you covered. Why am I qualified? I scored the top in the world in the chemistry AS level exam with a PUM of 97% and raw mark of 124 out of 130. Plus, I was competing with students one year older than me because I skipped 10th grade. I scored 38 out of 40 on paper 1 and 59 out of 60 on paper 2. Before I continue, watch my other video sharing my general study strategies and tips for taking chemistry AS level right here. Implementing those tips first are crucial to acing the exam. In that video, I also shared the free, complete chemistry AS level notes I made and used to study for all the chapters, plus an organic chemistry mind map I drew to memorize all the reactions. Also, watch till the end to access my simplified, compressed chemistry AS level notes that I used to quickly test myself and review before the exam. Do you think you're prepared for the exam already? Today, I'll be sharing the most forgotten topics that students forget to study for the chemistry AS level exam in no particular order. Exceptions of electronic configuration rules, copper and chromium. Remember that in these two elements, the 3D orbitals are filled first, not the 4S orbitals. Number two, ground state definition. This definition unexpectedly came out in my paper too, and some students forgot to review it. Three, hydrous and anhydrous compound definition. Fourth, stoichiometry. A lot of students are confident in their stoichiometry, so they skip revising their notes and doing practice exercises on it. During the paper I sat for, this question came out. Some people I know weren't able to solve this question. Why? Because a stoichiometry question that might have been possible for you to do while studying might suddenly seem impossible during the exam and time pressure. That's why it's important to study the techniques behind solving specific kinds of stoichiometry questions. If your teacher didn't teach you any, don't worry, I've got you covered. Download my notes in the general study tips video I mentioned before. If you read my complete notes from the other video, the technique for solving this kind of stoichiometry question is determining empirical formula using combustion data. The basic concept is that mass is conserved during the reaction. So the mass of carbon in the carbon dioxide produced should be equal to the mass of carbon in the compound that went through combustion. Next, which elements can have expanded octet, period 3 onwards, or electron deficient? This helps you when you're asked to draw dot and cross diagrams of compounds. Next, properties of different types of lattice structures and Buckminster fullerene. I know these are super boring, but you won't regret coming prepared to the exam. Next, electrochemistry rules. A lot of students, including me, fall into the trap of thinking they remember the rules easily and don't need to review. Don't fall into this trap. The state and color of chemicals in the periodicity chapter. Fluorine having weaker bond than chlorine, bromine, and iodine. If you've watched till this far, comment down below concise and email me at pinkophysics at gmail.com to receive the compressed version of my AS level chemistry notes for quick but detailed reviews. The whole nitrogen and sulfur chapter. A lot of questions came up on this small chapter in my paper too, which a lot of people tend to neglect. Next, naming organic chemistry compounds. A lot of students feel confident in naming organic chemistry compounds and forget to practice it and might suddenly blank in the exam. Cis-trans isomerism with cyclic structures. If I remember correctly, this didn't come out in my paper, but it did come out in some past papers during my revision. Acidity of alcohol compared to water. This came out in my paper too. Some people forgot to review it and weren't able to answer. Did you remember to study all of them? Comment down below.